Come on. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Clownfish. Oh, name tag. Nice. I hate to start off this episode with a complaint, but... Man, is it annoying <laughs> having to go out in the water to grab the XP every time you fish. I'd probably fish more often if they just fixed that, but... What are you gonna do? Anyways, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to my Let's Play world. Hope you guys are all doing well. Last episode, if you watched, we worked on the paths all around my base along with the 500 subscriber monument, which is right over there. We actually are going to be sticking in this area again today because I'm going to be doing some landscaping around the base, especially over here near the pond. I really want to build a Zen garden for some reason. I've never built one before, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Um, I also need to build this bridge. It's kind of a small thing, but, you know, I need to connect these paths together. And we're going to be doing all this in the old texture pack. If you guys haven't already noticed, you can kind of tell by the bricks up there. It looks a little bit different. I switched to this last episode because I wanted to check out my world. Um, I've never seen any of my builds in the old texture pack, and you can definitely tell which blocks have changed. So let's get started on the pond here. If I get rid of this creeper first, there we go. Um, I kind of made an outline of where I want it to go. Um, with these path blocks, so I'm just gonna get started digging this out. I do have quite a bit of experience making custom ponds and rivers and stuff, so I don't think this should be too hard. Oh, I didn't think about that. I actually have to avoid this, because that is the ceiling for the basement, and I don't want to accidentally break into that. And great timing from the rain. <laughs> of course it starts to rain. Uh, I, I usually don't like to record while it's raining because it just looks bad so I'll probably catch up with you guys when it stops alright everybody we are back sorry about that interruption there uh, what is that I got a cave under here uh, this is an old cave system I actually forgot about this this is like the first cave that we found over here near the house um, if you're wondering what that is that is the basement I have to try to avoid that um, but yeah, I'm actually going to be filling up the bottom here with some rocks, got some cobblestone, uh, some gravel, and some tuff. I was thinking about using sand, but I don't think that would make too much sense in a pond. I don't come over here too often. This is like my, uh, storage shed. That's what I call it. It's kind of where I just chuck things. Uh, for example, this dirt. These chests here are actually pretty important because they store all of my first materials that I gathered up when I came over to this area. If you remember, I used to have these four chests over there near my house when I was building it, and uh, I actually took them out and, I guess, uh, transported all the items over there. Don't ask me why I didn't just put all the stuff in my storage room. I don't really have a good explanation for that. On the other hand, uh, yesterday I was cleaning out my computer for the first time ever, ever, <laughs> since I got it, like, over three years ago. Uh, so it was very dirty. Um, luckily, my fans were cleaned out, so they should be a lot quieter now. Hopefully, you guys noticed that. What is this, by the way? Is this the foundation to the library that was here? Um, what is that? Oh, yeah, I think it is. This is an old build that I took down a long time ago. We used to have a building here that was the library, like the first ever library. All right, so I'm just going to start filling in the rocks now, or I'm just going to call them rocks. Um, pretty much I'm just spamming all over the place. I always have to make sure I'm not making any accidental patterns while I'm doing this, um, because when I'm making the path, that actually happens sometimes. I accidentally make like a couple of repeating blocks in a row and I have to go back and fix it. And now we just fill in the rest with cobblestone. Oh, you know what I could do? I could get some cobblestone slabs. That'd probably help make it not look so flat at the bottom. Yeah, you know, I'll do that too. Alright, there we go. The bottom layer is done. Um, I've already started to dig out this layer right here. This is another off-topic conversation, but 
you know, it's, it's not really that off topic. Uh, it's the end of the year, guys. I don't know when this episode is going to come out. It might actually come out in 2024. Um, but for me, it is December 22nd right now. So, yeah, we're like almost there. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> A skeleton shot the creeper at me. Almost blew up my face. I think now we're actually at the point where I can put in the water, so let me do that. Shouldn't be too difficult. I've done this many times before, so Minecraft water physics are something that I am pretty accustomed to. Alright, I'm going to have to start sleeping in a couple seconds here, but that is the pond. Maybe I could make that look a little bit less jagged over there. I'm going to put some cobblestone or whatever around the outside um, but let's put these slabs in first I want to see how this looks all right guys I think we found the first ever friendly drowned I think he's just happy that I built this for him I mean I didn't build it for you but you can live here if you want oh no he's not friendly nope that was hey 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 relax man No, he died. No, rip. Dude, that looks so much better. Just those slabs. All right, now I have to spend a couple of minutes doing some detailing work with plants. And usually that's not the most interesting thing to watch. So I think I'm just going to do it off camera. All right, I got some plants going here, finally. Um, I planted this wheat here, so when it grows, it'll look a lot better but yeah I just put in some sugarcane uh, some of these things the big drip leaves uh, yeah I always forget the name of those uh, I got some lily pads of course and some sea pickles and of course I got the seagrass everywhere to make it look a little bit more lively um, but yeah I'm gonna be taking a break from this I still have to make the bridge of course I'll, I'll work on that later on I promise you guys <laughs> but I have something inside that I need to work on which is the house doorbell I've had this on the to-do list forever. I feel like I should have done this a long time ago. Rupert, is there a zombie in the floor? Uh, this is why I have you around for stuff like this. Why are you... Oh, it's an Enderman. Yeah, you should not be down here, bud. Anyways, let's make the doorbell real quick. I believe I have some note blocks right here. We'll grab some redstone as well. Uh, I just realized I can't hear the game, so I don't know how this is going to sound. Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't hear anything unless I rewatch the video. Um, this has been a thing for a long time. Like, the way I record, I can't hear the game sound, so it kind of sucks. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it under here. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. Uh, I didn't know it made the uh, drum sound right there, so... I don't think I'm going to make it right here. I think I'm going to bring it over here where it has more room. All right, this is going to be way easier. I have so much room under here. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to run some repeaters into some note blocks. Let's actually do something like this. Got to remember to put dirt under it this time. All right, let's see if this works. I'm going to give this the first test run. All right, that last version kind of sounded bad, so I tweaked it a little bit. And this is what I got. It's pretty inviting, isn't it? Nice. Alright, welcome back everybody. Happy New Year. It is 2024. And uh, I kind of forgot what we were doing last time I was recording. It's been like 10 days since I uh, recorded working on that doorbell, so I'm kind of out of the loop in terms of what I was doing last. Uh, I do know I was working on the pond over here, but I forgot what I was supposed to do after that. But honestly, I don't care because the pond is turning out really good, I think. Um, I did work a lot on the landscaping around here. I just actually finished up the bridge, and I'm starting to put these... Uh, I guess like these hills around the outside just to break up the um, the flat ground because 
it looks kind of awkward before having just a pond and then like it went straight down to this lower section and made like no sense because you know the water just flow down there um so i put this up kind of as like a barrier and before i uh continue with anything else uh yes i did get a new mic it is a audio technica uh what is it called it's the at2035 so it's pretty good i think it sounds r like amazing it's definitely the best mic i've ever had so far that i'm using on this channel shout out to decisive because he uh he just told me what he was using and i was like i need that because uh, his mic sounds really good. And, you know, I want to have good quality stuff on this channel. Um, I'm getting sick and tired of the buzz in the background of the the old Cooler Master mic, which I love to death. That mic was great. I mean, it wasn't great, but I mean, it did the job. It served its purpose, um, and it was an upgrade from the old... Uh, what was the old... Man, what was that? Um, Astro A10. So, yeah, it... My history of mics, I had the the old Turtle Beach headset, which was literally just the gaming headset, like the worst quality mic you could find. Um, and then I had the Astro A10, and then the Cooler Master, and then the Audio Technica, which is finally it's my first uh, XLR mic. I won't carry on to this too long, but um, yeah, it is my first ever like mic that I have sitting in front of me. It's not just a headset mic, which I do actually prefer having the headset mic. It's a lot easier to, like, just have out in front of me. I don't have to worry about, like, pulling this mic out every single time I want to record. Because it does, like, kind of block my view when I'm recording. But I think I'll get used to that over time. So, yeah, moving on now. Um, let's just catch up for a little bit. So, it's 2024, guys. We are still playing in this world. In about seven months, that will be the four-year anniversary. So... Uh, this world is aging, guys. <laughs> it is getting old. That does not mean I am running out of projects, though. You guys know that this uh, this city project here is very far from done. Um, many, many years will be put in the, into this in the future. So that's not something you guys have to worry about. Um, just kind of like an off-topic thing. I just remembered this. Uh, I went on a little adventure, like off-camera. I don't know how many of you guys remember this, but it was the video that I did when... The uh, Cherry Blossom update came out, uh, 1.20, yeah, that's it. I'm so bad with remembering, like, the numbers of the updates. Um, but yeah, so, when I made that video, I found a trail ruin, actually, like, way out that way. Like, literally 10,000 blocks out that way. And I didn't explore it, because I didn't know about that bug at the time, where it was, like, submerged, like, way under the ground. Um, so I did go back there. And we were missing that one armor trim, and I'll put a video up right here so you guys can see. But yeah, we finally got it, guys. The Wayfinder armor trim. This was the last one. Like, all I had to do was go out and to uh, find this. You guys can check out my stats over on the right there. But yeah, uh, smithing with style. So what do we need? Uh, Spire, Snout, Rib, Ward, Silence, Vex, Tide, and Wayfinder. Honestly, I might just do that right now. But we also have the uh, planting the past achievement, which is plant any sniffer seed, which I don't have. I never found a sniffer seed. I have a lack of warm oceans in my world, I guess. And I, I'm, I'm very unlucky when it comes to getting them. So I'll have to go back out and search some more later on. Maybe we can do that next episode. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and make some extra smithing templates. Oh my god, guys, these things are a pain to copy. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, not even including all the diamonds you have to use. I just made the extra Spire armor trims and the Vex armor trims. I put them back in the uh, the chest, though. Um, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But, dude, I gotta make, like, eight of these things. And uh, I'm gonna be broke on diamonds by the end of this. That's gonna be, like, the first time in years... That I'm, I'm going to be broke on diamonds. I'm actually going to have to go mining. Which I guess is a good thing. You know? I haven't gone mining. Just for ores in forever. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm making like 
four or five of them, even though I don't really need to. Like, I just want to have extra ones just in case I want to make like a full set ever. All right, guys, 10 minutes of straight crafting later. We have finally acquired eight armor trims here, along with eight netherite upgrades, which I completely forgot about until like two seconds ago. So, uh, how do you do this? I, I've i never done this before, so this is like a new thing for me. Um, I guess I should put some of them on here, right? So I got my, uh, my helmet here. Um... I kind of want to make this netherite, you know? I've never made a netherite helmet before, and I do have two ingots right... Or no, I only have one. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I guess we're making a netherite helmet. I know this isn't, like, part of the trims. I just want to make this, like, separately. Uh, so I guess you need to do that. Wait. Oh, wait. Can I just put a trim in here? Or is that not how it works? Uh, let's see what let's see what uh ward looks like oh. oh oh okay okay i get it okay i think i understand how this works um so this is if you want to put a netherite trim on the thing but if i actually want to turn it into netherite i have to put this on it first okay now we can actually put the thing on so we can use a lot of different stuff i want to see what quartz looks like on it though um, let's just do it. Let's see what that looks like. I I actually don't like that. It looks like... I don't know. I just don't like it. Let me see what the... No, I just did it! No! Oh my god, I'm so... Dumb. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Alright, can I... Can I, like, undo it? I'm gonna have to grab another... Armor trim, ah, oh, whatever. Okay, that's why I made extras, guys. You know, that's why I made extras. Okay, 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 okay. We can actually undo it. That's good. Man, I'm so glad that you can redo armor trims. That makes me so happy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of sick, though. Especially with the quartz. You know what? I think I'm gonna take this. Uh, so we have the tied armor trim here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Um, it might not look cool from the front. It looks a little dumb there, but it kind of matches like the, the whole Achilles thing. To be honest, guys, if I end up not liking this, I'll just change it off camera. <laughs> but for now, I, I do like it. Um, let me put some other armor trims on, though. We got slacks. Uh, I'm going to double check if I have any other netherite because I actually do want to put netherite on this. Oh, we actually do. Oh, sweet. Okay. Let me uh, make some of that real quick. Netherite binding is something that I feel like I should have taken advantage of by now, but I just really haven't gotten around to it. Um, I, I kind of prefer diamond armor in some scenarios because it is way easier to repair, but since I have mending on this, I don't really have to worry about that, so I think it makes sense here. Alright, so that is with the rib armor trim. I'm not going to lie, I don't really like that that much. Um, I don't really like this one either, a spire. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the quartz just so it's matching. Um, oh, that's pretty sick. This is, uh, the silence. I think this is the best one, right? That makes sense. This looks sick. Okay, I think we're going to go with the silence here. I, that's definitely the coolest one. Oh, dude, that's sick. That is so sick. Let me take off the boots so I can actually, like, see the whole thing. That is so cool. Dang, now I want to test out what the helmet looks like with uh, silence on. Okay, how many more do I have? I know I made a bunch of them in here. So, you know, I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, dude. Okay, that's so cool. Oh, man. Alright, next time I'm making another right helmet, I'll have to put that on. I think the red would probably go good with the blue. Um, so, let me test out how that looks. Okay. Maybe not. And I just did it again. Why am I so bad at this? I... Okay. For some reason, I automatically, like, pick it out of here. So... Now we have Timberlands with a red strap on them. That is so ugly. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Alright, I have to promise myself not to ever make that mistake again. 
I can't let that happen. Um, that actually doesn't look too bad. The green goes pretty good with the blue. Uh, way better than the redstone, I guarantee you that much. Um, let me see what the gold looks like. Why is it still red? Why is that doing that? Okay, maybe just that one. Um, that kind of looks good too. I think the Vex looks kind of dumb. I don't think I'm going to use that for anything, but... Yeah, uh, why not test out... What is this? Snout? Let me see what this looks like with the emerald. I think that looks pretty good. Let's do that one instead. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad. Alright guys, so I think I'm just going to do the rest of the achievement right now, just to get it out of the way. I've spent long enough doing what we've got done so far, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish this real quick. Hey, there we go. We got smithing with style. Uh, I just miss it. I like hit record right when it switched over from locked to completed. So, uh, yeah, finally got smithing with style. Uh, we only have one achievement left to go. Arguably, uh, it's going to be way easier than this one, but I just got to go out and explore a little bit more. Um, so hopefully we get that done next episode. Sorry if this segment took way too long. I just wanted to test out the armor trims and see how they worked. So, um, it's just kind of a new experience for me. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am sorry about the long wait. Um, I mean, it hasn't been really a long wait for you guys, um, since the last episode, since I just posted it like a couple days ago. But for me, it has felt like a long time. Um, this is actually the first video of the new year, so uh, that's pretty cool. I hope you guys successfully attempt all of your New Year's resolutions and all that, and uh, I'm definitely going to be making a video soon talking about the goals for the channel, since that's what I like doing. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Peace.